Okay guys, so if we're going to be developing iOS apps, then before we even install Xamarin, it's a good idea to install Xcode. So let's go to our app store. Let's search for Xcode. Find that. Now it turns out I already have Xcode installed. If you don't, go ahead and install it now. And while that happens, you'll go ahead and pause this video. As of the time of this recording, we were at version 7.1. So I've got that installed, so I'm good to go. Once we have Xcode taken care of, or if you're only doing Android development and don't care about Xcode, then the next step is to go over to our Xamarin.com website and find that download link. Once we click that, we're going to be taken to a form where we'll just fill out some information about ourselves and how we're going to be doing development. It's five little form fields or six, I guess. So really quick to do that. And then we get a link we're going to download. And that download link will give us one of these files right here, a Xamarin installer.dmg. So let's double click that. And we get a nice big button right there that we'll also double click. This will tell us that we downloaded this from the internet. Are we sure we trust it? Well, we downloaded it from a nice trustworthy site like Xamarin.com. So you bet we trust it. We're going to open that app right up. And now we get our licensing agreement. So, yep, I sure do agree. I'm going to wait while it detects what I have installed. Turns out I don't have anything installed right now. So it wants me to install Xamarin Android, Xamarin iOS, Xamarin Mac. I will go ahead and do Android and iOS, but just to save a little bit of time right now, I'm not going to do Xamarin Mac for the moment. Where am I going to install my Android SDK? Well, the default location looks fine and dandy to me, so continue on. And so now here's what we're actually going to get installed. Let's hit continue, and now we're going to start downloading a lot of files. In particular, if we're installing the Android SDK, we're going to have a lot of bits and bytes to download. So we're going to be waiting for quite a while. Through the magic of video, I'll come back to you when we actually have more interaction to do with this installer. Okay, so installation is done. We've got our Launch Xamarin Studio button right here. And I am going to go ahead and click that. Let's check out our account situation. We haven't actually logged in yet, so we're just on this starter unidentified code monkey situation. So let's actually click login and create ourselves a trial account. A trial account is actually a business account, and that means we're going to be able to do a lot of stuff because a business account actually has quite a few capabilities. So we do that. We come in here and hit Create Account. It's going to take us to the appropriate website where we'll fill in some information. And I'll be Jason DeBoover because that is indeed who I am. And I'll click and fill out a bunch of information. Of course, I already have a Jason DeBoover at Xamarin.com account, so we won't need to do that. Start my 30-day Xamarin trial immediately agree to terms and conditions. And as soon as I hit accept, I now have a valid business account that's good for 30 days. All right, so we're ready to go. We're going to come back over here and actually log in using that account. Okay, for our next step, if we're going to be developing Android applications, we probably want to install the Xamarin Android player. That's because the Android emulators that ship with the Google SDK or the Android SDK are actually just painfully slow, really, really slow. And if we're doing rapid application development, that's just not good enough. We need something that reacts fast for us. And the Xamarin Android player fits the bill really well there. So let's go to Xamarin.com slash Android dash player. We're going to scroll down a little bit here and then we'll click the download for OSX link. Once we've clicked that link, we're actually going to get a file that will exactly resemble that one. It'll be the Xamarin Android player.dmg. And then we'll double click that to open. And then we'll double click that little guy right there. That is going to give us our installation dialog here. Do continue. And I like the default installation location myself. You guys can feel free to change it. Permissions and install. Let's close this dialog. Search our system for Xamarin Android player. Okay, so now what we're seeing is a bunch of downloadable images. So each of these represents an Android simulator I could download and run. So I'm going to select one. I like a Marshmallow device, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once we've downloaded that, then we're going to get an opportunity to name this simulator. I'm fine with the default there, so new device named Nexus 4 Marshmallow. And it's now installing. Once it's done installing, it's going to show up right at the top here with a play button. That means all we have to do to get our simulator working is hit the play button now. So this simulator that comes up, when we're doing our Xamarin Android development, we're going to be able to run our Android applications right here on this simulator, debug our applications right here using this simulator. Really, the only thing left at this point is to see if we can build and run some apps. So what I'm going to do is actually create a brand new Xamarin form solution, since that's a really easy way to put both of our platforms through their paces. So new solution. I'll select cross-platform app and Xamarin forms app. And then we'll call this my setup demo. And a PCL looks good. 
and I'm going to put this in my Xamarin Courses directory. So our default Xamarin Forms template comes with a form with a label on it, as we can see. And just to make things more interesting and make sure that we're actually putting it through its paces, I'm actually going to go ahead and also add a button here. And give it some text. And then we'll just add it to our stack here. So let's just check out our iPhone and see if it works, shall we? I am a button and it works. Well, one more thing I'd like to do with this is actually add some event handling to that button so we can make sure that works as well. And it also allows us to put in a breakpoint to make sure that our integrated development environment features are also working. So BTN clicked. Use our refactors there to automatically create our anonymous method. And here, all I'm gonna do is just change the text of the button itself, just so we know it's working. All right, and we'll run again. Of course, I need that breakpoint if that's what I'm testing. All right, I am button. Breakpoint works. And you clicked me. Okay, everything on iOS is looking fantastic. So let's check out Android and make sure it's good as well. I'm going to right click and say set a startup project. And my Xamarin Android player is already selected, so that's good. Hit play. And wait for that to build. All right, it says I am a button. And when we click it, breakpoint, so far so good. And you clicked me. Okay, Android is working as well. Everything is exactly what we need. Our setup is complete.